An extraordinary development. For the first time, scientists create a human embryo using DNA from skin and sperm. Now, for the first time, scientists have managed to create human embryos using DNA from skin and fertilizing it with sperm. The embryos were not allowed to develop beyond a few days. And researchers say this is still confined to the laboratory, but it is the sort of technique that could eventually be used to help infertile women and men or same-sex couples have their own biological children. Our medical editor, Fergus Walsh, is here. A an extraordinary development. Yep, this is astonishing science, Sophie which rewrites the rules of fertility. It's still very early stage, but could have huge implications in years to come. Now, in the laboratory, the nucleus from a human skin cell was placed inside a donor egg that had its genetic information removed. So far, this is the same technique that was used to create Dolly the sheep, the first cloned mammal. But now for the innovation. The team at Oregon Health and Science University manipulated the nucleus to discard half of the 23 pairs of chromosomes. They've called this new technique mitomiosis. 82 of these eggs were created. Then sperm was used to fertilize the eggs so that half the chromosomes and half the DNA would come from each parent, as in natural conception. 9% of the eggs became embryos after fertilization. There were lots of errors and abnormalities in the process, so it's unsafe to be used in the clinic. But scientists say it's impressive. Making um, eggs or sperm from cells that aren't naturally born to become those cells is, has been a, a holy grail in medicine for a long time. And actually, this is a significant step towards doing that, which would allow people who don't have eggs of their own perhaps to be able to make them and use them for, for treatments and have children of their own. So, yes, it's, a, it's an impressive step forward. The consequences of this research are profound. If perfected in a decade or more, it could allow same-sex couples to have a child genetically related to both partners. It could help those made infertile by cancer or old age. But it will raise ethical concerns about how far science should stretch the boundaries of human reproduction. Sophie.